beginning of wilderness. It is the 21st century, and every landscape is divined, darkly wrestling the one without language. So the man who stepped forward showed his gun, raised a white piece of string, a hook, a sandy scrap of clothing. In broad sun, plant a finger in water, wait for religion when all defenses are down. The famous one enters covered in gold. We will know him for five minutes. Faces of the animal will change, exist as singular wings of dust. Conceal the body that its obsession become a small thing. So it's just a, it's a series. There were eternities during which it did not exist. Vivid sun overhead, you overdid it. The ankle was showing. Lavender takes on touching directness. The sensation and the heavy shadow cast by the string, unless carefully disguised, could give you away. The gun is set aside to show the room more evenly. The man was a few hours from vanishing completely, but I had read everything, and a good deal of it was true. But certain things have a way of returning, for what was done grows young and large, not without principle, whose perfection is the very absence of nature. And where it vanished, every chemist and poet is able to make gold. No one knows exactly what is being seen. The animal going toward this language too will become a kind of loneliness. Vigorously folding little pieces of paper into wild objects, absorbing every particle of the attention, move through the air as if you are flying. Rooms fill with disheveled wrestling, and the immensity is not the same. The whole would in fact be very short and appear to flicker in and out of dark like a tree which is on fire, which is an ornament, and the touch inducing not excitement but loss, something falling away from the body. In the movie, this is the perfect moment. The thought did not bring you closer. Like the movie, which had a balcony in it, but wasn't really about love. Where grass broadened in broad sun, there truth is marked by an X clutched at the knee. They projected a ladder onto the one without anatomy, the sensual one, that though the figures reversed, the continents began resisting language and music were set down before you, meat, instinct, daylight, plunged toward the sky, were to touch each other, were to you vast and transparent. Tearing your shirt open in the tall grass, continued shouting across the bay. You are too young to evoke it. The sky is blue. To feel it, we'll have to take the body down. Flowers are carved the way you imagine, the way illumination increases the sex of the creature. Night, vital, stirs with superior justice, and velvet, forced into conversation, refuses the image. All things, valentine of, where you are not, but mastery nor redemption quivered, the strong sense of light were bled there in thin air, the room, the other room, throughout room. The fire is seen from far away. White, grass on fire, not the center of the world. The word turned purple overnight, tooled to the sweetness like a man, rivaled the century over a fit of laughter glowing on the water, a fixed to the table, a small piece of metal. Insomnia was an incomplete fear. The flowers held tremendous happiness, so there was no coincidence, but two facts, draped in coarse silk, removed all that is eternal. 
The gun is no longer visible. The first man gets up from the floor, leaves. The woman hesitates, leaves also. If beauty is fulfilled by motion, once music is found inside, the animal is open to the world. And you cried out to feel it again, and having no inside, offered the appearance of possession. Where the flower is the return of the flower, the one holding the lamp, the arctic one, cruel, confettied, the first pencil of light was formed by twisting a napkin around the finger. By returning it to water, the animal will float onto the surface a thin strip of gold. A nervous trip, yes, in a freedom of things, almost nothing changes. The burning flowers appear and disappear. A movement near the body will woman, will crow, some say the mind, pure, played again and again. And the bright spot on the globe, that is, the music, simply remained. But there was no gravity, no sensation that was not an image of the world. Your smile pulls across my face, smearing the fire in which we lived, where peace her jealous home had built to free the thought from where we stood. So this I wrote in Oaxaca in 2007, so that's five years ago, moving closer, it's called Enemy of the Absolute. It's in five sections. One, whose attending spirit holds me thus? Whose shape-shifting wood thus tooled? What kind of stew or meanness so sweetest sigh? A sudden face, a cliff that wears my own steps in darkness, hush of words, be beggarly, be master and native to the gleaming glade. Two, bright crowns and hills that wreathe the innards of the nightingale, a laugh whose inner bark scrapes against the olive leaves, dark green and gray green, citations of aloha, movements of the cross. From the outside, we are all tormented, jangling our bracelets from heaven, its rural scent of knowing what acts are now before us. Three. The Mexico we are still young from, faking our own deaths as children, shaking our futures before your eyes, how warm the night is with these feelings you've been avoiding. The summer we spent in Oaxaca, with its mysterious borders and skeletons, is at the same time inconceivable and without eternity. Four. For they teach us that eternity is not always where the mind is nor held in judgment by its furnishings, a beautiful sunset of human spirit, humid night, hamburger in mind, mind, white towel of imagery, weapons that turn outward to connect with the harmony of things come not now from the mind. Five, perfect blue of the galaxy, Stars that paddle across our eyes, across the yogurt and dream of the Persian Gulf, have no gunmen to the fault, nor in the prehensile television of our minds to retrace what we've killed, playing tricks on the dead. Upward angel, downward fish, my face alone, and the sky. I'll read two lullabies before reading a poem that I'm working on. These lullabies I wrote one to two years ago. This one is for Gerard Manley Hopkins. Whose thoughts are these we clothe? 
by cadence of Margaret, ourselves in the pageantry of nature's wood. A child who steps into the air braids the congress of its kiss, sucking lace upon the lily locks, unfurls by what force? Father, if we weep for fortune, must we also take her eyes? The heart peels back its crimson soil, a wreath in which time unleaving did row back, backward its small current. I'll read this one for John Berryman. Sing warrior songs, rain songs, sing... <sighs> sing warrior songs, rain songs, sing the time, sing light, soil, stone, shade, sing rock, songs, dream, songs, sing Isolde, in Tahiti, Faust, in Haiti, lions, dolphins, manatees, sing. I saw my friend sing in the abyss. His singing did not carry me but followed joint by joint, seesawing in the breeze. And there I saw him fall, down he went. Darkness does not come to sing. Tethered like a comma to the air broods on Henry's shy and spindly nerve. To meet a flower and suffer when it fails to bloom. Oh, jealous worm, does terror not also decorate? Mon frère, mon frère, ballad of the air. Who could see you and forget the blue eye quivering from its root? Savage, smile upon these words and things, and sing, for God's sake, savage, sing. A velvet quaff of blonde falls over the bridge of your nose, and the tiny needle on the zodiac draws a tinier claw. Pillars of transparent fire the poet lay underneath, rehearsing to make a grade at age 28. The prudential balm that summer brings lacerations in the brain. A shrapnel of the dark smears in night's stride, gleams the eye shakes from its grave, gradual, self-loathing dark, crumples in our clothes. Mon frère, mon frère, ballad of the air. So this is the last thing that I'll read, and it's not done, so I, and I like to do this just to test it out. It's called Debts and Lessons, and it's after um, a part of the meditations by Marcus Aurelius, although my part, or my version, the lessons is crossed out. Death unburdened nothing but a tunnel of sunlight pinned to lilac leaves mindful of the sweetening, itself moving countless sunbeams, fire here passeth, hyacinths from our eyes, spring entrails of sky, face covered in sweet jam, I hid in the palm of a banana flower, sick, sick, squint into the armpit, not safe until tied down to some sort of money, not for the dignity to fail, and why not? lest nothing tear open its cage. The liver sang warbles of song, smell of shadow moving leaf to leaf, bending downward toward the earth, gave beauty to our nothingness. Oh, fire, but fire could not stay, and fire could find no syllable, no common cave to sloth our blindness, which poetry then forgave, returning us to our meadowed paths, the pathless ways where weeping stood. Unclothed and simple be our trades. O oh, century of clouds, ear that shepherds. A little onward, a little further on, a thorn awakens the intestines, snaking through the grass. Awa, 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 the lashes of wheat. Awa, awa, the spear of ash. Awa, 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 and tubers sinking upward past the grave. Awa, awa, the gurgling of that mother sound. Awa, 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 I sing it to the animal, to the nettles and the cabbage tree. I sing it to my daughter, P. 
piri, piri, awa, awa, who sings it to her daughters, awa, and her daughters, 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 feather of the lightning, amu, water from the night. Life flows backward into night, rain sound dropping like ants onto the table. We snatch at them with our chopsticks. Ah, here, I've got one. It squirms into my eyes and takes root there. It is wild and it is bitter. To whom am I speaking? From whom do I drift, angel? of the unmarked path, in you the eyes of death did move, like the ruffled edges of a dress, the flint and bone silk of its face, silver and dark, there passed a while, a fragment, it is not, but ask it, fills with silence. Do not be embarrassed. Sometimes we fall against our ghosts. Bare worms, like painted napkins, float on the night air. A bracelet slithers past, no eyes, no nose, no ear. Modernity wounded by love, our tears rattling inside their shells, rain down, rain downward and sideways, rain through our, love, uh, rain through our chests, rain between chest and sky, rain hurried past. Say nothing, but hope carried our voices uphill. I climbed over my children and my children's children. Sunlight poured down through the leaves, downward angel, downward spring. Child, I wake singing in the shrubbery, peeing and singing in the shrubbery whose sorrowful screams outgrew the gentlest streams. Fear ride once more upon these waves. Thank you. Thank you.